Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going today? Today, I'm going to be talking about organization, how I organize my tackle box, how I organize my. Uh, uh, so, what I'm going to do today is actually show you what I did, you know, to help me save me time during the tournament and stuff like that, or out on a kayak or out there on the river fishing just for fun with friends and stuff. Anyway, uh, what I got today is this is my jerk box. I lipless and jerk box I used. I put a tax on it since so last year. Uh, the tag been kind of ripped apart. And this is a famo box. You can see nice and clear. Also, the special material they use for this, I think it's supposed to keep your, uh, it's not gonna dull color or it's supposed to hook brush feed and stuff. What I did to it actually, I think it's actually a really great idea. I, I forgot, I think I might have, I forgot where I found it, it's actually it's from YouTube somewhere. This is what I use. It's called uh, dry and dry premium quality silicone gel. Uh, this is for, you can use it if it's food and stuff, it's food safe. You can use gun ammo box, you know, tool box and stuff like that. And uh, this thing has actually been really, really good for me. Uh, at the tournament or sometimes it's rain, your hook's wet, your lure's wet, that will kind of keep it dry for a little while. It's not keep it dry, at least kind of take some of the moisture from the hook and stuff to keep it nice and rust free. Not 100% though, you know, like not 100% rust free, but at least you will keep some rust free. This is my jerk box. I have the lift this in here. Uh, this is my. Uh, Actually, I bought this one with canning. I still have no idea. This is for salt water stuff. I bought a bunch of stuff because it was on sale. This is more or less of spending. Not really a jerk bake, but some spending bake. Just like a lip lipless. Uh, I don't really have exact. I have kind of have mix and mass, you know, for jerk jerk bake. I have Yamamoto. I have some H, uh, HZO or something like that from Academy. I got some from my mystery taiko box. I have ja Gary Yamamoto. I got striking. Uh, where's the striking one? Right here. I think it's down here. Yep. No, this is right here. This is the Berkeley one actually. Yeah, I got a bunch of them, but I don't really have much jerk bake. That's all I got. This is my bread and butter right here. This is my uh, my jig. You know, this is my jig. The thing about organization about this jig is I actually just improvise. I just started this year. So what I use for this year is actually uh, uh, I have my uh, my swim. This is my uh, three egg quarter uh, for this uh, poison jig hat. Uh, this I use them for swim jig hat. So three egg quarter and football jig, three egg and quarter, uh, or one ounce. One ounce and three, uh, one ounce and a quarter, I think. I believe it's a quarter here. This is either three eight or one ounce. I'm not exactly sure. And this is my brush, brush hawk jig, flipping jig and stuff. I have the. Uh, I think this is one egg. Hold on, let me see. I made it myself, so I should be able to know. Let's see. Uh, half out actually. Yeah. So this is have out football and have out uh, brush hog. My shadow bake. I did not make this shadow bake. This is Z Man shadow bake. I have a bunch of this. Uh, jackhammer. Uh, original Z Man. Original Z Man and jackhammer. Forty dollar. Two of these. I know. Z Man is really good though. It's really it's it's really nice for this i have i throw them but i don't really throw shadow bake much like i used to this is the some of the z-man stuff too also i make this actually i make this with the uh, swim jig hat i got i have i bought the blade from uh tago stuff.com and i make my own uh, little you know quarter out Swim jig, shadow bag, blade brick. I make a couple of them, you know, and that's pretty nice. I actually haven't caught fish on them yet, but I just made them because I love making uh, 
just I just enjoy making them. Anyway, I okay. Just want to let you guys know, I make all this, except the uh, some of the Z-Man stuff. And this is I did not make this flipping jig. I got them from a, a Mr. Tiger Box. I have the skirt and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to see a video of how I make them, you know, I may make a, make video about it someday when it's a little nice out. And this is my jig. So Gary Yamamoto right here. I'm, I just got this this year. I've been taking a lot of pictures about it on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check out my Instagram, you know, BT Fishing. And you'll see a bunch of these. If you guys from Instagram, welcome. Yeah, thanks for the following. Also, uh, okay. So the reason why I have this stuff right here, this is crawl, and this is some of the swim and stuff like that. I kind of mix and match them. I think this is really effective for me so far because if I need something, okay, pretend like I need uh, to throw like a uh, swim jig. I could just grab one of these trailer, which is the one I they use. Put them in there, you know, and ready to go. I want to switch and come back here. Oh, I want to light the wake. I could just go down, you know, stuff like that. This is my deep driving crankbait. I actually just got this. It's, it's more like deep. It talk about like 16 to 22 or 18, 22 feet. This is three right here. Uh, the brand is uh, I got from Academy, so it's it's like three dollar. It's nothing really crazy expensive. Uh, so this is supposed to be uh, original it was my uh, spinner bag but uh, i don't have much spinner which i should you know i'm gonna buy more spinner bag along this year uh i'm actually really excited to uh throw this out i mean to throw this early this year with the new uh setup i have here i think this is the burke this is the rod that i was talking about seven six uh right here seven six Berkeley e, uh, e motion sorry. and this is the deep diving uh, cranking rod I'm really really excited to try that out this year uh, yeah I mean that is how I organize I wish I could organize a little more but it's so big I can't really organize as much I can fit them in bigger box but then I have uh, having a hard time fit them inside my uh, tag or boxes and I have actually I make this bucktail jig not really a jig anymore I I make them I okay this is the one my last tournament I had last year I used this at uh, Oak Orchard Park I've been throwing this on uh, my spinning rod and dropped them by the rock just let it sit there caught a couple of fish with this actually a couple upgrade really excited for that to try it out this year this is my candy bar shop right here my cranking uh, my mid my mid shallow stuff like that you know I kind of organize them by this is more more like shallow or square bill this is more shallow and square bill also this is some square bill and some mid and some mid also I it's it's I don't have the Pacific brand I go for I just buy whatever I think it's look yummy for the fish and I'm gonna put more silicone to that this is my the fit box is just more lower I have a bunch of uh, worm here swimming worm a worm with paddle with the tail of twisted worm what you call them you got more twisted worm here this is more crawl and stuff uh, fluke swim nothing really particular I think this is for me I think I tend to use single the most you know and if I don't for my jig way before my I organize my jig like that I used to have a bunch of crawl here and swim here also I also have them here too if I really need them you know I think it's a lot easy for me to just open this bag and grab whatever I need for the plastic then actually have to go through uh, my my bags here which is all plastic also this is the H, H20 H2O Express this is I love this actually I have a bunch of plastic here organize them by tight you know not really particular color 
I could fit a lot in here. All my plastic fit in here. For the river fishing, I love using this. I either I put them in small little tackle box or I just grab whatever I need. So, when I did last year, in summer, I was crushing them with this color over here. This is more like mud color with some orange codfish color. That is actually really good on a river. I mean Oneida. This is what crushing on the river. May 1st, baby. This is my top water. I haven't thrown this much top water this year actually. Whopper Plopper is really good. Spook is alright. I broke this spook so many times on the uh, river by my house because I just <laughs> I hit the bridge with it. I got some pop right here, nothing too crazy. And this one is my bread and butter also. This is my hook, my turco terminal. Uh, I love the gasket here, keep the water tight. I have zero problem with this except my hook. I when I did not, before I, I started using the silica, I did not. I did not use the silica. Uh, that's why it's, the hook kind of get rusty and stuff. Keep banging to each other. That's all the jig hat that I make. A couple video back. I mean, I haven't made video about it. But a couple days back, I make all these jig and I powder coat them. This is called finesse, you know. I make the uh, I make the jig hat, even little hook keeper there. I spend time, sit down and bend them and stuff. I really love this. I'm gonna start using it with the Z-Man product. The reason I make this little hook keeper is because the Z-Man product is really picky what the hook keeper you get, you got, you know. My drop shot still in the bag. The reason I keep it in the bag is because the drop shot is really, for me, it's really important because I use it the most. It's got some drop shot wig, you know, just a lot, nothing fancy. Shaky head, uh, we got more shaky head here, shaky heads here. Uh, we got some brush hog jig, not really a jig, it's just jig hat. That I did not push, uh, I, I didn't put any Bush wire in. I just use that for standing on jig and stuff. Got some worm. I mean, got some uh, worm hook here also. Little tiny worm hook. We got some uh, Y gap uh, Texas rig worm hook. I I don't really use that stuff much. To be honest. Either drop shot crankbait or this year I really want to learn it's Carolina rig. Okay, I just. I think Mobin Outdoor, he recommend this, is actually, I saw on his video, it's, it's called Husky, a two box, I mean, two pouch, I believe. You got a little belt clip there, you know, it's really strong. Okay, anyway, this is the Husky two pouch. I love this because I can just grab this out and put them on my side of my kayak like that. Just hanging out there so it's perfect i can use uh, the belt on my vader when i go fishing on the river and stuff which is perfect uh blade cutter knife you know stuff like that marker and yeah i mean i don't have anything much but this thing is really useful i really really love this thank you Mo, uh, moving outdoor for introducing that to uh okay. this is my river system this is my river organizer I got a little hook there, jig hat and stuff like that. This is a plan no box. We got some grub. We got some uh, Z-Man grub right there. Bucktail. I love using bucktail because I make them. You know the feeling of catching fish with the lure you make, it's always the best. We got some Berkeley. I forgot what the name of it is, but this thing is huge. We got some uh, Kai tech right here. I think this is three five or four. That's a little box there. And this is actually my drop shot. Drop shot stuff. Rubble worm. Okay, I drop shot a lot. That's why I have Pacific box for it. Uh, hotel shad. You know, we got some uh, striking. I think this is called half shell or something like that. And we got some zoom product here. I forgot what the name of the zoom product is. I love job shot, that's why I have specifically little tiny box for my job shot stuff. 
I fit. Zingo, I love doing Zingo for large mount around the grass and stuff. Drop shot. Yeah, I mean, they have this. You know, throw them on the side of the kayak. It lasts me a day. This is my own camera bag. I used to use this for camera and stuff, you know. Uh, I find it actually fit perfectly for fishing. By fishing, it's it's a lot better than my own bag. The reason we're saying that because of I can fit three 3600 in here. I can fit like that and have some room for my plastic. I can throw my little box in here if I really want to, you know, nothing too crazy. I can close this up. Look at that. All set. I love this actually. Uh, this is a uh, you. I forgot the name of this. This is Ultimate, uh, Ulti, Ultimax. If you got interesting for this pack, actually, I'll drop the link below. That is perfect for fishing on the river or pond, pond hopping. I think that's what we're gonna do for the video, guys. Uh, I've been fishing today, actually. I did not, I did not catch anything. It. I can't even find a spot for me to fish, to be honest.